So this week I was talking with some uh, with someone about meta practice, and um, we were both saying that you know sometimes it's just really hard to get into it. Uh, it's hard to feel sometimes like we're doing anything but just sort of repeating these thoughts, and even though our intentions are good, um, it can be kind of dry, and it can be sort of like um, you feel like. It, pointless almost sometimes. And those are doubts and hindrances to the practice, just like in other types of meditation. Um, but I think it's really helpful to understand that it's it's often the case that we um, wish well for somebody or do something nice for somebody or whatever, and we don't really know what the result from that is. Um, and it really is enough to just show up and uh, and, as Sharon Salzberg would say, do the work. Um, you know, do the focused concentration practice. Um, and, and that's where we get uh, caught up sometimes because it can feel like prayer or uh, even a liturgy or a litany. Um, it can feel mechanical. And, uh, you know, I think what we're really aiming for when we sit for metta practice is um, using the phrases, using our intention to, to be friendly, uh, to, to have some goodwill toward ourselves and others as a way of opening our hearts, as a way of beginning to let go of our fixed ideas and opinions about things, our fears and anxieties, um, and even our grief and anything else that's, you know, kind of, uh, tight in our heart space. Um, the practice actually is a heart opening practice. And again, uh, you may hear those words and think, but I never feel that when I practice. And, um, you know, that's okay. Uh, we're not trying to manufacture a feeling. We're maybe just starting from the place that, you know, it's not so easy being a human being. And we all want the same basic things and deserve it. We all have inner dignity and sovereignty and divinity. Um, and that's true for each being. And so, you know, maybe we just sit quietly and remember that fact. Um, sometimes the phrases and the good wishes come spontaneously then. Um, but what you, what you will find with regular practice is that um, Metta has a way of seeping into all the little cracks and crevices of our lives. And uh, it'll start to show up uh, or your heart will start to respond differently to different moments uh, the more regularly you practice it. Um, I love sharing this story from Sharon Salzberg from her uh, classic book, Loving Kindness. Sharon Salzberg is the premier teacher of Meta practice, uh, uh, I would say, for our generation, our um, our time. She has really helped millions of people learn this practice and um, and become more loving. It's amazing uh, how accessible she has made this pretty specific 2,500 year old practice from a different culture. Uh, she's made it possible for us to do this. Um, but you know, she's just like you and me, and she started out pretty doubtful and skeptical herself. Um, and her, one of her stories she likes to tell is that uh, when they were first um, getting Insight Meditation Society going, the retreat center, um, they were sitting a three month retreat and she had determined um, that she, she had heard about mental practice and she was going to um, practice it exclusively on this three month retreat every day. And uh, so she started doing this and long story short, during the, um, retreat, uh, there was a sudden emergency uh, from a friend and a number of them, including Sharon, had to pack their bags real quickly and uh, take some action. And so what she says is, uh, let's see, then as it happened, we knew someone we knew in the community had a problem and a few of us had to leave the retreat suddenly. Um, she felt really badly because she hadn't even started practicing for herself yet. And she was like, oh, what a waste of time that was. And she felt badly. And uh, she says, I was in a frenzy getting ready to leave. As I was hurriedly getting everything together in my bathroom, I dropped a jar. 
It shattered all over the floor. I still remember my immediate response. You are really a klutz, but I love you. And then I thought, wow, look at that. Something did happen in that week of practice. So one week of practice with no instruction, which she says earlier on, she hadn't really been taught how to do this. She just took it on for a week. Didn't think anything was happening. And she had this immediate loving response toward herself. And I gather from what I've learned and what she shared about her life, that that was not a typical response. And it probably wouldn't be for you or me either. Um, that is the power of metta. So it doesn't matter if it feels dry. Um, I hope that it can be a heart opening, pleasant experience, but it's not always. And that doesn't mean that nothing's happening.